Winter's coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> Winter is coming. It's getting really, really cold. There's a snowstorm coming in. That's what you gotta do if you wanna be in Mongolia. You gotta toughen up. Still got your pearls hanging by my bedside. Still got your lips on paper in a trash can. I never knew love could be so sweet. I never knew it would stay. I never knew love like this would leave. Good morning guys, welcome back. This is the day that we have been waiting for, is building up the bricks. We had to wait actually three days for the concrete to cure because it was so cold at night. But at least we can start on the concrete bricks. We guess it's going to take us about two days. We're going to leave the forms on just to give it some extra strength. But it's a really sunny day, even though it snowed last night. It was really beautiful this morning, but it's warmed up. So now we're going to do the bricks. We're gonna put in some more rebar and then we allow those bricks to set for about two days. Then on Thursday, it will be the last day that the diggers will come out. So we're just on time, so we need to get moving. And hopefully by Thursday, we can get everything filled up and done with this project. But uh, a little bit of calculations this morning to make sure we get it straight and right and correct. Mm -hmm. Great. So basically what we're doing is we're working on the corners, getting them square as much as possible, doing the corners and then we'll build the lines in between. But of course it doesn't have to be perfect since we are going to put concrete over them and we are going to cover them and insulate them and all that type of stuff. So it's all right. In Mongolia, to mix concrete and old bathtub. Every handmade is expensive, you see? <laughs> handmade. Handmade in Mongolia. Must be expensive. <laughs> Filling in all the gaps. Good. So we have a problem now again. No, it's just that the the uh, of course that side and this side is a difference of seven centimeters, seventy millimeters. So we're just getting it correct, so we know where to to take it, so that we have of course a square greenhouse. Dad and our trusty Mongolian driver are making a mess and I'm cleaning it up. <laughs> no, you can't say that. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, good. If anybody has anything to say negative about our bricklaying, you can go stuff yourself. <laughs> Men in the tub. <laughs> the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker.
it's starting to get dark, but we just keep going and we do what we can today and then we pick this up tomorrow. Yep. Actually, it worked so hard yesterday, and we have also some help from family, which was nice. Yes, exactly. It was really nice to have some help from the family. None of us have really done bricks before, so it was kind of a new experience, but we kind of had a good idea of what we were doing. So it took a little bit of uh, calculations and thinking yesterday. We've had one day of practice, so <laughs> we're going to get this job done today. Yes. Kind of, we have to get it done today because the digger needs to come and backfill tomorrow. Yeah. So it's going to be a busy day. <clears throat> and getting cold. Getting cold, but uh, we're going to push on, get this job done yes. today. Today. <laughs> <laughs> today. <laughs> Fantastic, guys. Ready? Yes. Work, 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 work. 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 <laughs> So basically, as far as we've got, we have started with all four corners. We have run string all the way around so that we get the right level. We have also squared it all off. Yesterday, we started on the one wall. Then we started going on the back wall. We're gonna continue that today. We have all the vertical rebar in place. So basically, today is just to continue the brick laying process. Great that we're having the family coming again today to help us mix the concrete by hand. Very cool. We get it done. So we're gonna carry on the same way as we did yesterday. We, we found ourselves the rhythm. Zula's dad and our trusty Mongolian driver, which is actually Zula's uncle, are gonna lay the bricks. I'm gonna follow them behind fill up the vertical rebar and fill in the gaps and then we're going to take the next layer and the next layer it works so that's the way we're going to do it and we're just going to keep going we're going to get some extra hands just now to help us mix the concrete and to move the concrete so definitely not a one-man job <laughs> <laughs> So we're getting there, two walls done. The back mm -hmm. wall is done. We have two more walls to go that yeah. we're pushing on. But, but we need to... Taking leave. a break. Break! Good this time! <laughs> Zula's Mongolian snack of the day. There's something special with this one. They say the Krasny October. And then it means What's we that? need to eat the October. October. <laughs> <laughs> We should put on this one in our October video. So similar to the one we had before, but it's a special edition. Chocolate biscuit. Mm. Mm. With a biscuit in it. Mm. With biscuit in it. Very nice. Mm. Mm. You should test this one. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back to work. Back to work. Back to work. Work, 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 <laughs> work, work. work, work. <laughs> don't want to see your bum. Don't tell me your bum. So we are just about there <laughs> with the layers of bricks. We're nearly finished. We have 
about two hours left of light so that is really really good going very happy but of course my OCD is wanting to check that all the gaps are filled even though it doesn't really matter because we're going to cover it all up at the end yeah really really fun this will be really really exciting to get finished Finally guys, it's the end of the day and we have finished the brickwork. I'm so happy to have this job done. It's finished for now. We have been taking away the forms and now we're just cleaning up because it's an absolute mess of a building site. <laughs> really, really fantastic to have this job done. Now we can get the truck to come and backfill so we can have a flat surface to build the greenhouse on. Really, really exciting. Yep. I know that we talked about first we were going to go four blocks high, but we actually changed the plans a bit. We went three blocks high mm. and then when the ground comes towards the greenhouse, we're going to have a little bit of a slope. It's no problem with drainage. We're going to sort that out as well. So guys, we're going to end tonight and carry on cleaning up. Tomorrow when the truck comes, we will show you the backfilling and yeah. wow. Then now I'm really, really tired. It's been a really busy few yeah. days. I need a shower. <laughs> Be with the flame. Be with the flame. Mm. Yep. Catch you guys later. Bye. Bye. Good night. <laughs>eventually the guides have come and they started to work we've been waiting all day it's now quarter to four in the afternoon so they're starting pretty late but they said they will get as much done as they can today otherwise they will be here tomorrow to finish the job off which is okay it's not as big truck as we had before but they're just going to fill up there's another truck at the back where they're going to put the rest of the dirt in and be able to transport it to the other side of the homestead so we can fill up for the driveway. It's about minus five centigrade, so it's really cold out. But uh, glad we're getting this done. Let's see how much they can get done today. getting really really cold there's a snowstorm coming in but that's what you got to do if you want to be in Mongolia you got to toughen up yeah you really got to toughen up and make it work yeah and we actually really lucky yesterday so yesterday we got to finish off all the bricks imagine trying to do that today <laughs> with this weather it would have been an absolute nightmare yep. but anyway we're going to get this done, one way or another. Saving <laughs> <laughs> the trees.
So it's getting dark at night now. They just want to continue, so let's see how far they get. Otherwise, uh, we'll take a look in the morning. Good night, guys. <laughs> with, the flame, with the flame, watching all kids' movies, you know, kids <laughs> we have got this job done. I promised you we'd get it done. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, the diggers last night, they didn't want to, to go home. They wanted to stay as long as they can and finish the job last mm -hmm. night because it just went into deep freeze. They wouldn't be able to move anything today because everything is frozen. It's minus 10. Outside today, it's going to be minus 20 tonight for the next couple of nights. Mm. Anything outside is going to turn to a rock. Winter is here. Winter is here. But we are so glad that we got our foundation for our yeah. geothermal passive solar greenhouse build done. Guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> guys, unfortunately, I know that you would love to see this greenhouse build. Yeah finished and so would we but this is going to be the last episode of this year for the greenhouse build we're going to pick up this build in the spring and get that finished we have a couple of other projects that we want to to do yeah and i'm sure you guys are going to follow along and enjoy that too and we'll tell you more about that on the next video yes but we have a lot of jobs to do we are far from done here in mongolia we're going to get this greenhouse done next year as well, so don't worry about that. Let's have a look and see what these guys have done to our garden. Yes. Total wreck. <laughs> <laughs> but at least that all the dirt is gone. At least all the dirt is gone, but of course there's a lot of, a lot mm. of maintenance to do in the spring. Yes. Can't work with the ground right now. And also the next year will be no grass in our yard, so we need to exactly. work on that. Yeah, let me show you. So on this side of the greenhouse, this of course, this is the south south facing greenhouse, which is going to be where the, the passive solar greenhouse is going to be. On that side, I've talked about it before, that's going to be the open area garden mm. where we're going to have vegetables that we're going to have outside. So this is where all the dirt that was left over from the dig, we put it here. Mm. As I spoke about in a previous video, we're filling up that whole area there because that's going to be a driveway. We're going to let it settle over the winter and we're going to build a very nice retaining wall and then flatten that out. We're not sure if we're going to do stones or if we're going to do like a brick driveway up to the garage that we're going to build as well. So uh, lots <laughs> and lots and lots of work to do. Have a new gate. Yeah, a new way to drive in. Yeah. So guys, this is going to be the end of this episode. We really, really appreciate all your support. Guys, we love you to bits and we will see you really, really soon. Bye. <laughs> Still got your pearls hanging by my bedside. Still got your lips on paper in a trash line. I never knew love could be so sweet